Okay, so we are now live, guys. I'm just setting up this camera here. And I am... <laughs> oh, oh, my God. We're going to cancel this Instagram live because if someone is so immature. Okay. Pinning the comment, people. Can you pin this? Can huh? you pin this online? Can you pin the thing online? Uh, yes. All right. So Serena's, go Serena's going to do the intro. So, Serena, you're in. Okay. Um, I am, Venus is doing um, work on my camera, so I'm not good at this, but so today we're going to do a little bit of my warm-up. A lot of people ask, what does Serena do? Or maybe no one has ever asked what Serena does. Um, but I'm assuming, and I'm so full of myself that I'm assuming that people do. But just heads up, I have some baby stains on my shirt today because when I got ready, I um, got stained right after, but that's normal. So um, I noticed that in Venus Lives, she usually does this little chat before, and I, I want to chat, so I feel like I don't want to be cheated with that. But today I'm going to do <laughs> a little bit of my warm up and if you don't know, Coach Venus has been doing this every day for like almost over a month now. And it's been eight really weeks, eight weeks. Yikes. It's been really exciting to do it and to join. And I've been able to join once, but I wasn't feeling that great. So I'm able to do it the full time this time. And I'm excited to run you guys through my personal routine, which is I like to call is a warm up, but it's a little intense. So um, be safe. If any of these positions hurt, definitely do not do them do a modified version or just watch enjoy and have a mimosa whatever you choose um all right so this is venuswilliams.com is that it or at um, venus williams instagram yeah so you can go to my link in bio go to her link in her bio to get all the, all the information about coach venus and her amazing lovely outfits of course i'm in nike but i obsessed with 11 really cool um and then um yeah, so we can kind of start that. How's your day? My day's good. I'm chilling. Uh, I'm filling in here right now. I feel like I'm on set of a, a newsroom and I'm waiting on the IT person, Venus, to, to finish that. Um, so as you can see, we have our two yoga mats. We have some blocks. We might get a, a couple extra blocks in case um, Venus needs them leftovers and the gym how are you feeling about the workout today about the workout today i'm feeling really confident about it um it's definitely it's a warm-up so I, it's not going to be as intense as some of these workouts that you guys did with like a sean t or tracy anderson or definitely no grigor dimitrov but it's definitely somewhere in between so i wanted to give you i, I was watching a lot of things that coach venus does and i wanted to give you <laughs> something a little bit different you know so mm -hmm. so this is usually our tennis tuesday so I, I brought the greatest tennis player to ever exist my little sister and yes. um we are in co-quarantine self-isolation together these last eight weeks pumping iron <laughs> pumping iron <laughs> <Just> pumping iron <laughs> <laughs> so on tennis tuesday we usually ask our tennis players if they're missing the courts right now yes Yes. Are you? Oh, I am. You won't believe this, but I am so, so like just not missing the court. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, not at all. You could even fake it. That I, I try, but just, I, you know, you I'm honest. I'm, I'm maybe too honest, but I don't miss it. So you don't? I do miss it when I'm there, but I'm not there, so I don't miss it. <laughs> so, um,. Okay. Okay, do you miss playing doubles with me? I do. Me too, me too. <laughs> Especially <laughs> laughing. It is. It is better than the doubles. It's just to go on the court and laugh, laugh, laugh. Yeah. It's, so, it's only laughing, though, if we're winning. If we start losing. Or if, we or if we're losing, we laugh. Only that one match. <laughs> well, sometimes we'll just be like, we don't care. We're, we're just going to go all out right here, right now, and we just start laughing. Yeah. We're angry afterwards, so I, I get really angry. the team a lot why didn't i cross you're something like that um you sent me the 
this post yesterday of me and 2005 woman. Mm -hmm. I have to get back to that level. Honestly, I was just like, <laughs> you see how you came to the net and also <laughs> how thin were you? Oh my god. I mean, you're thin now, was but it was nothing like but you were muscle. like, I was like, god, you were a weight. I was like, oh my god, you were, it was pumping. Uh, I um, uh, was never like that. But whatever. Oh my gosh. So that's hooked up to mine. And then I'm gonna give you your kiss. Is it my favorite brand? <laughs> <laughs> the one that I'm always trying to rob still from you. So I finally got you your own so that way you don't have to <laughs> your own yoga mat cleaner. Yay! I need this because sometimes my dogs come in and steal my yoga mat. <laughs> They're the most rude things I've ever seen. going 
circle to the right. It's really important to warm up our neck. Our neck is carrying such a big load of our heads. We're gonna go the opposite direction. Some of us have big heads and know everything. So our heads might tend to be bigger than others. I think my our dad said, don't know everything. Don't know everything, always learn something. So now we're gonna include our legs. We're gonna drop our legs and our arms and just try to relax into it and just try to fold over. Right, and again, a little faster to the right, down, 
if you're wearing a high heel only on one foot. We do it each one five times. And then the left. Four. Three. Two. One. Now, bend our legs. Take another little break and just stretch our right arm. And look left. Try to get your arms straight as you're looking. And then really try to get your squat down. And then we're going to go to the left, have your, try to have your elbow straight, butt down, tummy in, and look to your right. So we're going to try to use this to catch your breath, and now we're going to do it in a squat way. So we squat, stretch, squat. So you're bringing your stomach in and you're poking your tush out. So it's in, out. It's almost like a little twerk, but it's not because it's really contracting those muscles and really engaging your quads. One more. Now let's take a break and go all the way down. Coach Venus 
and to hopefully be a legend like her one day. And now we're gonna go to I. I'm here because I wanna be fit and I love fitness. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a capital A kind of position. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see it better. We're gonna rotate our shoulders. Oh no, we're gonna go to downward dog. Okay, we're sorry, we're gonna rotate our shoulders. Just to warm up the shoulder capsules. We're gonna go a circle to the right. Now, if you can't do this, there's also modified versions where you can just kind of watch. Do not injure yourself doing this. Okay, we're gonna circle to the left. Always try to hold your stomach in. Squeeze your glutes. So we're gonna lift up our right leg and we're gonna step it forward into a lunge. So I'm gonna face the camera again. So I'm in a right lunge. Now, I'm gonna bring our arms up and we're gonna bounce. I'm not bounce, but squat. For three. You can easily lose balance here, but you have to kind of focus. Hands down. Now, if you have bad knees like me, you can use a pad. We're gonna put our left knee down on the pad. And now we're gonna do our split series. So we're gonna start opening up our hamstrings and our quads in order to get that flexibility. So bring your toe back and point it back. Really push your heel to the ground because you wanna feel it a lot in your hamstring muscles. Point, flex, point, flex, grab with your opposite arm and pull it in as much as you can. You want to really try to pull it in until you can, to really just basically hurts. So at least that's how I do it. It's no fun, but the results are always fun. So we're going to bend. You guys are probably familiar with this. We're going to bend our front leg, take our back leg and kick it up just to warm up that hamstring and to warm up that quad that we're going to try to stretch next. So kick it up for five times. Now we're going to reach back. If you can't reach back, I have a stretching strap and it's a pull or you can just use your left hand. Usually you want to grab with your opposite hand like this. But if you can't use your strap or just use your left hand. And really try to sink into that stretch. You should really, really feel it in your quads. Um, you really want to just keep pulling and pushing. Pulling with your arm and pushing with your leg. So it's like a pull-push kind of sensation. We're going to let it down. Then we're going to go back and stretch our hamstring again and turn it out this time so we can get the IT band. For us athletes, IT bands are always tight. So in order to get this really good, we're gonna turn our leg out and turn to our right and you should really start to feel like in your glute, in your IT band, et cetera. And you can even, if you're really feeling this well, you can push your, oh, for me it's my left side,
get down. I, I try, but I can't. So just keep leaning into it if you can. Now we're going to go into our glute stretch, something that's always tight on most athletes. So we'll go in pigeon position. And I see everyone in the gym doing this one. At the tournaments? At the tournaments. I feel like everyone does this stretch. It's my favorite because you can just kind of relax and just kind of make a joke with your coach or your team or whatever. Look at some, some people coming in. They look good. Venus is doing something really well. If it's too tight, you can always place a block under your glute and it takes off a lot of pressure. So you think tennis makes you tight? Tennis definitely makes you really tight because you're tight. always contracting different muscles. So now we're going to just flex our foot. We're going to go back into downward dog. So we're going to go into downward dog from there. Venus is really enjoying that stretch. That I feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite stretch. Much time to stretch these days. Oh boy. Well, I've got to come and do it more often. Please. So then we're going to put our left leg up in the air. You can open your hips if you want to. Bring your knee to your chest and place your foot in between your legs. And we're gonna do the same series on our left leg. So arms up, and do five squats. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna go down to our knee. I usually need the pad. And we're gonna straighten our hamstrings. Now see, I injured my left hamstring. I'm really struggling on this side. So again, we're gonna go through our flex point series. Flex point, flex. Well, I'm happy to come do this stretch series. Again, I love stretching. It's really, flexibility builds strength, which a lot of people don't know. And it's probably, I shouldn't say nothing more about it, but oh well. <laughs> we're gonna pull our opposite leg and really try to pull, pull your, almost as if you want to pull your toes to your nose. And since I injured, I have a lot of um, uh, like scar tissue. I really try to go deep into this stretch on my left side. So we're going to bend our front knee and take it forward. And then we're going to do our kicks again. So kick for five, four, three, two, one. Reach back. If you can, if you can, use your strap. Back and then just stretch your quads as well as your um, hip flexors. And if you can't do it and you happen to have blocks, you can just keep it straight. This is a modified version. Just stand straight and lean back, and you'll feel an incredible stretch in your quad as well as your hip flexors. This is actually just as good, if not better. Just lean back like this. So now we're going to go back, straighten our leg again because you definitely want to warm up those hamstrings. Now you kind of understand why we did all those warm-up exercises. So turn our foot out and I'm going to lean to my left. I'm doing my left now. And now this is our IT band, which you did on the other side. And I'm going to push my right glute to the right while I'm pushing my hands down. It's like a push-pull sensation. And you should really feel that in your IT band. Because I injured my left hand Trainer has me lift my arms like this. 
right, so now we're gonna put our legs together. I'll check the time, but hopefully I'm not keeping you, out, you all too long. We'll bring our legs together. Um, we used to do this a lot in running when we were in elementary school. Yeah, it was just fun <laughs> on track. <laughs> track. Okay. When we were on track, we used to do this all the time. So I was never good at this even back then. I'm still struggling with it. So just try to fold over. and do like I said you really engage these quads it's actually a workout and if you guys were with me in the beginning you'll realize that it was a workout and yesterday after my workout my legs were, sh were shaking because I was doing so much engaging because I really need to get my quads stronger so um, it, it's stretching actually should be more of a workout if you're doing it the right way okay. what are you looking forward to after quarantine tennis <laughs> I mean, I don't miss it, but I really look forward to getting back on the court. Um, it's what I do best. I absolutely love playing, but this break is, I think, an unnecessary evil, a necessary evil. Um, and that's how I've been looking at it, and that's how I think I've been able to enjoy it so much. It's just like I, I felt like my body needed it, even though I didn't want it. And now I'm, I'm feeling better than ever. Like, I'm feeling more relaxed more fit now i'm just like okay now i can go out and play real tennis so what are you doing to boost your immune system so every day i take actually matthew she'll she'll see she's gone he'll gave me a lot of vitamins so i take um garlic i take a uh, zinc every day i take olive oil um and then olympia has a lot of vitamins that she takes as well but they're like the kids all the kids sometimes i eat she ate so many that I had to load up and get a lot. So now you can come back and eat. I only got the can. adult ones though. Oh yeah, so you can have those. Thank you. But the kid ones, the kid immunities are unbelievable. But I got like so many, so we can have them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just take 
if you get in a, you're, you don't want to play a three set match but if you get there you know that you're fit enough right. to handle it and that's how i've been treating my immune system it's like i'm going to take my vitamins every day and I'm, my now my body my immune system is fit so if i get sick it can fight off what it needs to what's your guilty pleasure in quarantine i saw you baked bread last night. yes i baked bread and it was i never was baked it delicious it was good was i have to say free? no uh, I have found these gluten pills, they're a nightmare. So, because I'm allergic to gluten, but I found these pills, which probably are good. But I take them and then I can eat gluten. So, I've been abusing those gluten pills. <laughs> what about the cinnamon rolls? The cinnamon rolls is definitely my, it's definitely my uh, guilty pleasure. It's, I'm, I've gotten, I found this incredible recipe. And now I've said, I'm not gonna make it again until June 13th. So I'm like working out every day. Because I'm literally going to eat all 12 when I make them again. June, I'm not even kidding. That's how good they were. I'm eating them all, but I have till June 13th to get right to make sure I can eat them. Oh, that's 6060. Okay. See, I'm going to murder those cinnamon rolls. I'm loving it. You're wanted for the murder of 12 cinnamon rolls. take some some questions and some answers on my channel but I definitely know we need to like shut Serena's channel down so guys on my channel please stay tuned but everyone can go to my link in bio to opt in and when these workouts are happening Serena's going to join us again because she says she wants to come back so she'll join us again so go to my link in my bio at Venus Williams to know when these workouts are and plus you can watch these watch these workouts as we say to infinity so this isn't just for today, it'll be forever. So you have to go to my link in bio, opt in for email updates so you'll know when we're working out with, who we're working out with, when that's happening. It's usually Monday through Friday. So come join, get your flex on, etc. We dance on Wednesdays, we do like dance workouts. So it'll be fun tomorrow to get through that. You guys can use the code Coach Venus at 11byvenus.com for 20% off um, while we're in uh, quarantine. So thank you guys and I'll answer some questions now on my channel so i'm gonna go ahead and reverse the view reverse 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 hi um looks like i'm in the shadow okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout um the lighting is a little weird maybe it's just weird for me hmm. i'm gonna get into a good position folks Okay, so Serena has a really, really nice bum. I just got a handful there. My God, she's amazing. Woo! I love Serena Williams! Okay, so today we used our Sutra Yoga Mat Cleanser, and these are all natural, organic, good for the environment, good for you, and beautiful, beautiful, invigorating scents. So you can go to Sutra Life on Instagram or Sutra to grab yours so you can stay active. I love them. I've got all five. And then um, let's go, let's hit the questions. Oh, I've got a lot of go live requests. So let's say hi to, to the people who are on this channel. Let's say hello to everyone. Let's see who's um, on here today saying hello. Oh, I, my sister, of course, and sister Lynn, one of my favorites, Lady Isha. Hey, Lynn. Oh my God, Serena, so unprofessional. <laughs> Lady Isha is our leader. Um, 
Jay and Joa, hi, Ferris Kimberly, Marty, Martini Rose, um, Tally Figueroa, AF, girl, it's AF, he so bougie, how you doing, um, let's see, what else, we got shots by Scotty, what kind of shots, Scotty, I'm into shots, um, Rob Z07, a lot of folks on here, I love you guys, okay, so what I'm going to do is answer a few questions now, how much did you guys love Serena? She's she's a great sister, let me tell you. She takes care of me. I'll see her later today uh, after practice. Olympia I came by I yesterday to hit balls. Too. I actually might come hit with you today. Serena might come hit with me today. What an honor. I'm a completely different player now. I'm not. <laughs> she says she isn't, but she shouldn't be. I need, I, we, we won't get into all of that. Okay, I'm gonna look at the questions. Venus. Uh, this is from Brain Art. I love you. What is your motivation to fight against the negative mental, physical haters? So I wrote about this a little bit the other day on, um, wait, what time is it? 11.44. Oh, we got time. I have a conference call at 12 with my wonderful design team. We're reviewing golf designs for this time next year for you golfers. Okay, so how do you stay motivated? So what's happening is that i wrote about this on my stories the other day is that it takes the same amount of time to be motivated than unmotivated so while you have that time use it wisely now we're going to go through challenges but know that it doesn't last forever so a challenge is that moment in time and guess what we don't ask for less challenges we ask for more skills if you got a challenge get the skills get the team get the inspiration to get through it so if i can be inspiring to you guys i hope i can a lot of you guys are inspiring to me when you tag me dm me all that stuff i'm i'm looking at it thank you so much okay another question this is from kristen strum just now this question came in what's your best advice to face adversity during match in general in life life is not easy but the moments we remember are the ones that are challenging or tough or fun or filled with love we don't necessarily remember those moments that were just blah like that olympic doubles match in london Ooh, yes when you crossed oh my god oh, and closed it out crossed oh. thank god i wasn't helping you though you in the were. beginning i was watching you work so hard you and i'm were. like i've got to cross and i never helped like on three match points i'm sorry gold medal points oh. and then finally on the last one like i, I crossed us Oh, thank so you, God. Fun. So what? Love you. Love you too. See you later. I'm serious. I'll come hit in a little bit. Oh, really? I have to. I missed yesterday. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'll, I hit it four. All right. I'll be late. She says she'll be late, but she's honest, and honest is what's important. So, the end of that question is. Uh, life is going to be a challenge, but like we said, we welcome challenges. We don't ask for less challenges. We ask for more skills. So. Um, I can't remember the rest of the question. I'm sorry if I blanked out. Oh, how do I face adversity in a match? So, yeah, I remember those matches that were the most challenging, like um, some epic matches like Wimbledon 2005 or those kind of matches. Those are the ones that, like, I'm so proud of. So you train for that. It starts in practice. All that adversity dealing with it starts in practice. How you walk in practice, how you think, all of those things, how you're dealing with that adversity in practice is going to go right to that match. So you want to handle it with uh, calmness, solving the problem, not necessarily getting angry and all that all that foolishness. Of course, you're going to get angry sometimes. That's normal, but we can't let it take over. Okay, let's see. Who's taller, Serena or, or I am? Um, I'm 6'1". Serena's almost 5'10", so you do the math. I'm a giant. Um, <laughs> are, are Serena and I, are we going to start playing doubles soon? Uh, the question is, we, we want to play doubles every match. So if we could play doubles every match, we totally would. Um, yeah, let's see another question. Um, what am I wearing today? Okay, so what am I wearing? This is our glam collection from 11 by Venus. So you can use the code Coach Venus to take 20% off of this. This is the most comfortable thing I've ever worn in my life, actually. So... I feel really awesome. I think Laura, Laura Schiffman, my friend, she has this, she loves it. So it's our glam collection. I was gonna be wearing this right now. We we're supposed to be playing in Rome. So I would have been hitting that red clay and pretty much a red clay color. But yeah, you can go to 11 by Venus and use the code, coach, 
Venus for 20% off and we got you guys. Okay, what makes you get out of bed? I just took a nap again. That's from Tally Figure. Oh, hi. Hey, Tally Figaro F. Yourself, but also push yourself okay another question I'm from Peru living in France I was going to see in Rolling Girls I know well we'll see what happens this year but most of all just be safe and take care of yourself somebody said oh text me I gotta tell you something about my grandma she she loved y'all okay I don't have your, your number this is the B okay okay Emily F19 how do you focus when you're working out with Serena it looks like so much fun it was really hard not to keep cracking jokes I just wanted to just keep cracking jokes. So for, that's just how we live. Anyway, I love the penny pincher one. You have to squeeze your tits like you, you know, a penny inside. I was like a penny pincher. Okay. Anyway, so if you guys have just started and you missed the workout with Serena and I, you can watch this on my story for the next 24 hours. And if you miss it after that, you can just go ahead and go to my link in bio so you can find out where you can watch this forever watch these workouts forever and ever and ever and ever okay well, um, how do you get over a bad day practice what is our brain doing um, from Donna Goose um, Isha said perfectly said about bad days we all have them um, then some what's up Turkey did my haba I don't, I don't know is that Turkish um, give a shout out to our uh, our operations and business strategist director Kanan Morak he is from Turkey and what a guy okay so many questions guys I got a few more minutes so I'm gonna keep going with it and answer a few more questions here what did I start tennis I was four years old I don't even remember learning how to start my favorite Olympic memory all of them except Athens I like to say I wasn't there um what am I grateful for today definitely my sister being here um, definitely use the other ear pod in the wind is that better guys So 
Lots of questions in the question box. Oh, I love this. I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. What's my favorite tournament? Anyone I won. Do I like Nikki Minaj and Shakira and Joshua Gomez? Yes. How do I keep going after a bad loss? Got from Joshua Gomez again. It's hard. I mean, of course, uh, I always congratulate my opponent and smile. Congrat you know, thank my team afterwards. But they're also afraid of me after a match. And such a bad mood. <laughs> I didn't want to be in a bad mood. I'm alone. I'm just upset. And I feel also like I've let my team down. I've let myself down. Like I should have done better because I've practiced better and then didn't, you know, necessarily perform that. So I honestly, I just go and have to I honestly sit by myself. And then I actually have to watch cartoons to get my mind off of it or like a, a, a program. Um, I watch a lot of Justice League to like get through it. I'm a huge DC fan. Um, and then about it that night it's so frustrating <laughs> I wake up the next morning just ill but at the same time while all these emotions are going on I'm making this plan of how I get better so at the same time I'm like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then I get back to work sometimes the next day it's the only way to do that is to get after it um, okay Joshua thank you for all those great comments like um, let's see do I do a lot of stretching? Can I do a split like Serena? So I injured my hamstring probably about 20 times. So I can't actually do the splits anymore. But I used to stretch a ton. And now I'm more conservative on my hamstring. But I recommend stretching just for general well-being. I promise you, when your body is loose and flexible, you feel better. I promise you. And while you're stretching, it really does release endorphins that just kind of put you on this high. I don't know how to describe it. So I recommend Don't hold it longer to that point where it starts to tighten back up. You'll feel that. Then you know it's time to let it go. You've gotten all you can out of that muscle that day. Uh, let's see. Have you, um, let's see. Favorite surface? Probably hard court. People would think grass, but I like a hard court. I grew up on it, and you get a true bounce every time. I like that. Um, favorite hobby besides tennis? Definitely karaoke. Um, I love to read. Uh, I love languages. And what hobbies have I taken up during quarantine? Hobbies that I've taken up during quarantine are definitely social media, Instagram Live. I do this five days a week, so this takes out about at least five hours of my week every week doing this just for you. So this is this is like super fun. Okay, so somebody asked me, can I pin where you can find these workouts? It's actually there. So, yeah, go to my link in bio. You can find these workouts forever. Opt in free mom days. You can get them, you can get them, you can get them, you can get them, you can get them. Okay, guys, I love you. I love you. Remember, go and just stay active, stay well. And one thing we can control are is how we feel in our bodies and our fitness levels. So, I'll be back with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.